Oh, yeah. Okay. Educate about the weekend forecast coming up here. We have a lesson in forecasting coming up because winds out of the north from Canada bring what? Colder air, right? That's what I've got on tap for the latter half of the weekend. Today we had some warmer air, a little bit. High temperature at 40, low at 31. The normals are 39 and 23. Rain, ice, and snow, what we've had so far, a tenth of an inch of moisture past 24 hours. Outside in Philadelphia, some light rain, 38, 96 percent humidity. Barometers dropping at 29.66, southwest wind 9 miles per hour, wind chill factor at 27 degrees. Kind of feels cold and damp out there. Everybody's between 36 and 40 degrees, coldest at Allentown, warmest down at the shore. Lee Malno Jr. in Radnor, Pennsylvania has a light rain, 37 degrees. He's had a total of three quarters of an inch of rainfall thus far today. And rain is still around the Delaware Valley. Here's the Doppler radar at Fort Dix. Most of this is in New Jersey, the heaviest rain around Penns Grove over to Wilmington, Delaware, but the back edge of the rain about Birdsboro. So we think it'll clear through Philadelphia sometime, let's say around midnight or one o'clock in the morning. Birdsboro, of course, is west of Pottstown. Anyway, looking at satellite, there's an indication here. We have some drier air arriving for later tonight, for tomorrow. We have this little storm here winding up in Ontario. It is plowing south and eastward now, and so doing, Watch what happens on satellite. You have this cold front racing eastward. It builds up the moisture ahead of it, but shuts it off behind it. So much so now, we're seeing some breaks in the overcast around Harrisburg, down to about, let's say, northwest Maryland. That'll take a turn later tonight. It may just be partly cloudy. The time you wake up, though, there's some more moisture behind us over Lake Erie and in Michigan, northwest Ohio. That comes in and may give us a few sprinkles or even flurries of snow. There's some colder air behind us. You see the cold front, second cold front now around the Sioux Locks. That merging in with us will drop our temperatures tomorrow so much I don't think we'll really rise above what we had today. It may make 40, but I really don't think so at this point. Beyond that, a little bit of a warming trend down to the south and west. This will try and get in here briefly on Saturday and Saturday night. But the wind flow in the upper atmosphere is not cooperating. As watch what happens tomorrow north and west flow out of Canada. We remain in the cool side here. This prevents the warm air from moving up toward Philly. We may get a little piece of that action later Saturday and Saturday night, then some big transition in store. Because in satellite, in the water vapor image here, look at the tremendous storm. You've heard about the flooding in Washington and Oregon. This is trying to channel south and eastward, and it'll make a beeline for the Delaware Valley, say sometime early on Sunday morning. A strong Arctic cold front building up behind it. When you get an Arctic cold front and a bend in a jet stream behind the storm, you know there's going to be north winds out of Canada. Look for yourself. Here's the storm. Early on Sunday morning, look at that fetch of Arctic air from deepest Canada all the way down to the south. It must get colder here, but I think it'll be dry. I don't see a storm coming till sometime the mid part of next week. So your forecast for tonight, rain will be ending, likely around midnight. Cloudy and breezy, a little bit colder later, 33 for a low. Now tomorrow waking up, gradual clearing, breezy and chilly, temperatures remaining around the upper 30s. For the nighttime hours, fair and cold tomorrow night, 23 for a low. The extended forecast here, it tries to warm up Saturday, but Sunday the cold front comes through around, let's say, 6 o'clock in the morning, starts to drop after some rain showers. Monday and Tuesday it's chilly, partly cloudy. Wednesday it's a snow or rain chance and a high in the mid-30s. So a pretty big change coming here. Watch out for colder, not warmer, on Sunday. For the yeah. half and half weekend, though. Sort of. Yeah, yeah but I'll take back. that Saturday. Yeah, right. Thanks, Anytime. Well, we'll have enough